We are now going to look at creating a document offline in Google Docs. And again, you want to make sure while the student is online that they sign into Drive, Docs, Sheets, Slides, and Classroom just to make sure their accounts are in there. You can do this one of two ways. I will show you how to do it through Drive, but Drive is going to take you into the Docs application anyway. So it is more direct just to use the Docs application, but you can do it from Drive if you would like. So we'll show you that first, and then we'll show you the Docs. So I am offline currently with my iPad. So I'm going to open Google Drive. And when I open Drive, um, at this point, anything that's available offline, I'll be able to access. Choosing a folder right now that I'm offline is not going to matter because it is not online, so it's not reading those files. So you can simply skip choosing a folder at this point. It will save it to the general My Drive folder and then you can move it to the folder of your choice or the student can move to the folder of their choice after they go back online. So in the lower right hand corner we are going to push the plus. We will choose Google Docs and notice it moved me over to Google Docs uh, without me having to open it. So again if you want to do this through Drive you can but if you want you can have the students go straight into Docs and just circumvent opening Drive. So now I'm going to title this. I'm going to title this offline just for the sake of our example. I will choose create and at this point I can use all the tools that are available to me offline as long as I'm not trying to go to a link or add anything that is not directly in Google Drive at this point so I'm just going to type um, test 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 so you can see and I'm now going to choose to check it will actually save it on the iPad in Google Drive at this point now when I choose my arrow back it jumps me back to drive and you'll see when I go back to drive right now I cannot find that document so I will go to docs and it is in docs so when you're working and creating a new document offline it will show up in docs because that is the application it was created in it will not show up in drive because it is not online so it can't send that file to Google Drive at this point I can go back in and manipulate this as much as I need as long as I use uh, the Google Docs application. Now I'm going to take my iPad back online and when I do that I'm going to go back online. I'm actually going to refresh Google Docs so that once I'm online I know that everything um, is going to be updated as I want it to be as the work that I've done. But before we go back over to Drive I do want to show you in relation to my offline doc it will remain available offline until I switch it back. Now that's a good thing if the student needs to take it home and work on it again because if they're online and they make edits when they leave Wi-Fi uh, it will carry those updates with it because it is going to take what it has uh, the last time it was connected to the internet and make that available offline. So now I'm going to go over to Drive and when I go back over to Drive, I'm online, so I'm going to refresh Google Drive simply by pulling down. And now when I scroll down, you'll see that my document offline shows up and is available. I can go back in, I can edit, I can make changes, I can move the document. And so whenever students are creating a document offline, they can create a brand new document. They can do it through Drive or through Docs. It is more direct to go through Docs than it is through Drive because it still opens. You want to make sure before they go offline that they are signed in to the applications with their account. And then when they go back online, they refresh both of those applications to make sure that the document shows up. If for some reason it doesn't, close both applications out, make sure to connect it to the internet, and then open them again to see and make sure that it shows up.